All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this, but I woke up super, super late today, so I missed a lot of the news when it first came out. But anyways, for those of you who are out of the loop, who don't know what's going on, the prime battle LR first form Frieza is most likely going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening at some point in the near future, obviously on JP first, and then eventually on global as well. Although, if this is happening for the Halloween celebration, then maybe there's a chance that both sides could get it at the same time. I mean, it's very, very unlikely, but there's got to be some hope, right? Actually, you know what? I don't want to give any global players false hope, so let's just say there's a 99% chance that it's going to be JP first, and then eventually global will get it in like four to six months, although it's kind of hard to say because EZAs on Global have been really weird recently. Like, we're still missing Kaelin Khalifla, Super 17, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and so on and so forth, so we'll have to see. Anyways, uh, the reason we know that this is happening, at least on JP right now, is not because there was like an in-game notice or something posted on social media, but rather because in the in-game um, Prime Battle Cell event or under it, there's a little notice that says that the event is going to be updated or it's going to be going away for a little while. And usually when we get this notice, it means that there's going to be some kind of change happening. And in this case, the only change that can really happen is an Extreme Z Awakening to the Prime Battle Frieza, right? So like I said, it's most likely happening. It's very, very likely. But it's not official until we get like an official in-game notice or a, you know, something posted on social media like on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. So keep that in mind. There's a chance it doesn't happen, but it's very, very likely. Anyways, for his leader skill, super attacks, passive, post EZA, you have no idea what it's going to look like. But I can almost guarantee you guys that he is going to be absolutely insane. Okay, probably the new... I don't know if I want to say that. Okay, he's going to be one of the best free-to-play units in the game. If not, if not, the new best free-to-play units. Even better than all of the other free-to-play LRs. Because just look at how amazing Prime Battle Super Saiyan Goku became after his EZA, right? And I think the Frieza is going to be at the very least as good, if not even better, than the Goku. So if that happens, then he could very well be the new best free-to-play unit. He's going to be hitting super, super stupidly hard. Probably going to have some good defense. His links are actually really solid. He's got Strongest Kind in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Metamorphosis, uh, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Fear and Faith, Legendary Power. Very good link set. Uh, he's, he's in some very good categories as well. Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors. And his stats for a free-to-play unit are phenomenal man 21,680 attack I think might be the highest attack stat for a free-to-play LR uh, currently like even uh, he's definitely got more attack than the prime battle Goku definitely more attack than uh, LR the SDR Vegito blue I do think yeah correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure he has the highest attack stat out of any free-to-play unit in the game right now um, at rainbow status so yeah great stats great links good categories all he really needs is a percentage boost for attack and defense on his passive and maybe some better effects on his super attack and he is going to be good to go man imagine if he stacks attack on super and gets like somewhere between 70 to 100 percent i mean i, I, f I feel like it's going to be kind of like goku where it's split so where like he gets a certain amount maybe like initially and then um, you know, some more boost if, like, you're above a certain amount of HP or if you're, you know, ultra supering or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure what the breakdown's gonna be, what it's gonna look like, but either way, I don't think they're gonna screw this up. I don't think it's gonna be disappointing. And I definitely foresee him being one of, if not the best, free to play units in the game after this easy day. I cannot wait. I know the homie Goresh is losing his mind right now, just thinking about, like, what could happen with this easy day. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked, guys. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, we are also going to be getting a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Dokkan Fest exclusive Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for the first time in over three years. The second ever Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game. 
uh, very soon too on JP. So if you guys missed that video, missed that update, feel free to go check out that video through the link above my head after you watch this video. And I guess that's really all there is to say. Um, we have no information, so I can't really expand upon this aside from just telling you that, yeah, the Prime Battle Frieza, easy A, is on the way. Look forward to it, get excited. If you guys have any predictions for what his details will be after Extreme Z Awakening, let me know. Uh, he's most likely still going to be an all types leader. And uh, yeah, percentage boost for attack and defense, maybe some other interesting things on his passive too that I can't think of at the moment. And maybe, you know, stacking attack or defense or maybe both on his super attacks, that would be insane too. So uh, yeah, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.